Hey YouTube, RPM Auto here, got a video for you. And this is about caches. Um, probably a good idea, you know, to have caches uh, out in the wilderness or whatever. But I was talking to a friend of mine that was out uh, just walking the woods, doing a little hike. And he found some rocks stacked up, and he got to looking around, and he found some more rocks stacked up. So here they were, these little, like markers. He started looking at it and seeing that they weren't just random, they were marking something. So he kind of triangulated it, you know, and found, started digging, and pretty shallow and he actually found somebody's cache and it wasn't a big cache it was a rifle and a little bit of ammunition and I can't remember what it was he said it was good condition wrapped so it hadn't been there very long but he left it he buried it back up uh, covered it and left it the way he found it now fortunately he's an honest guy <laughs> You know, and uh, I just wanted to get your thoughts on if you were out hiking and you found somebody's cache, what would you do? Would you do the same thing? Would you take what was in there? Would you uh, be honest, what I consider being honest, and just leave it, uh, you know, cover it back up or whatever? Or would you consider it finders keepers? Which I guess legally that's you know I mean somebody's gonna go out and, and bury their cash they're taking that risk uh, it's kind of a moral dilemma I think and for some of you maybe it's not a dilemma at all maybe it's morally you wouldn't do that and some of you may think that hey you know like I said finders keepers now on this in this uh, instance I think marking it the way they did and making it obvious that something was being marked and buried. I'll give you a little view of our country here. Uh, that, you know, that's kind of stupid. My opinion is it's kind of stupid. I mean, why would you obviously mark something? If you're going to do a cache, hide it anyway. Nobody else is going to find it. You know, you're, you're taking that risk. And if you know that you're taking that risk, how could you possibly blame somebody else for finding it and taking your stuff, you know? You, you got to realize everybody in this world is not morally, uh, that their co moral compass doesn't point north, I guess. <laughs> and uh, so you run that risk, you know. Uh, fortunately for this gentleman, he, the person that found his cash, uh, because he made these markers so obvious, um, was honest enough to, to just leave it. So, anyway, I just wanted to ask your opinion on that. I've thought about doing caches, but then, you know, if I, if it's a cheap gun, ammo's not cheap now, but, you know, you do it right. You don't mark it, you know. If you're going to mark it, use a GPS and mark it that way. Don't use stacked rocks or something that's totally obvious. <laughs> To someone else that might be in the same frame of mind uh, you know I think especially where I live and I'll show you you know I live in the mountain and there's probably tons of caches up here and so you know would so it's probably a good idea I mean you know uh, but let, anyway, give me your thoughts on what you, what some of you would do, what you think would be correct, right, um, and if you say, yeah, I would take it, you know, give me a reason why you would do that. Uh, you know, it, it, I say it's a moral issue, but it, it's kind of a tough, tough decision for some people. So anyway. Uh, I, I saw I was out for a hike and I saw some rocks stacked up and I thought about that so I thought I'd do a video and ask you guys what your opinions on caches were and uh, if you ever came across one you know would you 
would you teach this guy a lesson? <laughs> You're so stupid, you know. Uh, why the hell would you even um, mark it like that? So I'm gonna take it just to just to teach you a lesson, you know. But kind of an expensive lesson. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you.